Good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are filming from the Tesla studio uh, and uh, we have some exciting news. So yesterday uh, we just saw the first proper test drive of Tesla full self-driving future in Europe. Again, uh, this was done uh, with a test car from Tesla. Um, full disclaimer, if you upgrade to FSD, you will not have the same interface and functionality that you will see in the upcoming uh, uh, small video. So don't uh, uh, be in a rush to upgrade yet. Uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put the video now and then we will be talking about some conclusions from, uh, from this video. All credits go to Tesla Europe and Middle East X channel. So uh, without further ado, let's see the video and then let's discuss about it when it's done. First of all, I'm super, super excited about what I see. Uh, this video was filmed in Amsterdam and uh, as you saw, um, there is a mix of going through some small streets in Amsterdam, also going with some uh, to some streets where there are a lot, a lot of bikers and people and I mean, the traffic is super, super complex and uh, I was shocked to see uh, how good Tesla behaves in such a traffic. Again, Tesla FSD is not available in Europe at the moment. They are waiting for a regulatory, regulatory approval uh, from the European Commission or something like that. So there is an institution that, uh, that has to do it. The FSD was approved in Switzerland. So uh, I saw a lot, a lot of news on the Swiss channels and uh, supposedly it should come into effect uh, beginning of April. So about now uh, but again I did not see any any car or any video with uh, Tesla FSD software being available uh, in Switzerland I'm really really curious about it again Switzerland has some some different regulations uh, compared to uh, the other countries uh, in Europe um, but I'm super super excited to see things uh, moving uh, in Europe and I hope uh, this will uh, be available soon. Uh, just to give you a reminder on what a car with FSD enabled does now in Europe. The only functionality uh, that we uh, have available now in Europe, and I'm gonna leave a link here in this video because I actually tested what FSD can do. So click on the top uh, 
uh, right corner and you will see my video. So uh, the only two functionalities that an FSD can do now in Europe is stop at a stoplight. So it can detect the fact that the stoplight says red uh, and it can stop by itself. Uh, and after that, you need to press the pedal once uh, the stoplight goes green to uh, re-enable the autopilot. That's one. And uh, the other functionality is stopping at the stop signs. So if uh, it detects the stop signs and you are on uh, FSD mode, it will stop for sure. And then you have to press the acceleration pedal to uh, resume uh, the FSD. So uh, yes, I'm super, super excited about what I see. And I think this, uh, if this goes, or if this gets approved, if this goes through, I think uh, it will be a major uh, advantage for Teslas uh, because I believe that they have a huge uh, advantage in knowledge and technology on how FSD is being deployed right now compared to the other uh, car manufacturers. So let's see, there are some rumors that RDW, which is the institution uh, responsible with the road safety in the Netherlands will approve this uh, in uh, April again it's just rumors I don't want to uh, to give uh, some uh, information that is not correct but I'm really really curious about it uh, until then I think this video shows how fast or how advanced FSD is and again I was super super amazed about what it can do without a human intervention so that's it for today. I hope you liked my video and the conclusions. If you know more about this and if you know more about the steps of uh, approving this in Europe, let me know, uh, write down in the comments. And I'm really, really curious about, about your uh, feedback. And of course, I'm curious about uh, how do you think Tesla handled uh, the traffic in Amsterdam uh, with bikes, uh, with people, <laughs> with pedestrians and with uh, narrow, narrow streets. Uh, until now, we only saw it uh, working in US where the streets are much wider. So yeah, really curious about your inputs and uh, that's it for today. Uh, thanks a lot for watching and see you in my next video.